So I was at work last night, and I was pretty shocked to hear um, from a couple of different sources when I had seen, you know, all these R.I.P. Kevin Samuels, and I was like, "What?" I was like, "I just watched his content. I was watching some of his content yesterday about the modern woman, and I was pretty shocked when I hear about this. And I know a lot of people, of course, are going to be disappointed." Um, by his passing, you know, may he rest in peace. He was a very well-established content creator, and I often liked watching some of the content that he ha- that he had made. Even though I didn't, of course, always agree with everything that he had talked about, but he definitely knew how to present himself as a man in his image, the way that he dressed. It was something definitely worth imitating. Always taking pride in the way that you looked and how you presented yourself. You know, to the public, and here I am, you know, coming back from work, and I was pretty surprised. I was, I came across, I was watching a, a little bit of, I came across Hotep Jesus on on YouTube, and I seen his, you know, in his uh, the title of his video, you know, R.I.P. to Kevin Samuels. Then I see, of course, you know, it's trending on Twitter. And I'm like, really? I was like, wow, that's like that's crazy. And then, of course, come to find out. You know, some people say that it could be a cardiac related event. And as you know, Kevin Samuels always drank Red Bull, especially when he would do those late night videos. He would often, you know, have a little liquor and mix it, mix it with some Red Bull or just drink the Red Bull straight up. And of course, Red Bull and many of those type of drinks can cause things like AFib, which causes, uh, the, you know, the upper part of the heart basically to quiver and of course you're not getting good blood circulation and a person can have a cardiac related event and if there's no medical treatment initiated right away a person can pass away and maybe that's what happened to him um that night some had stated that he had a young woman that was with him and that he was complaining of some chest pain and this was really why i had wanted to make the video talking about this is very important, especially for men of color that often don't get the help that they need because they kind of brush off the symptoms of chest pain. Chest pain is very, uh, it's, it's something that should be taken very seriously. Obviously, unfortunately, Kevin didn't. From what I have heard, I've watched a couple of different YouTubers who have, who, who knew him and who had talked about what, you know, perhaps what was going on that he had complaining of, you know, some chest discomfort and you should seek immediate medical attention. If ever you wake up feeling any sort of shortness of breath while you're at rest, palpitations, any sort of chest heaviness, tightness, um, if you feel any sort of a pinching, stabbing pain, uh, anything that radiates to the left side or to the jaw, these are some of the symptoms related to Uh, Especially for men that sometimes, you know, you think nothing of it. You're like, maybe, you know, you kind of brush it off. And unfortunately, as a result, they were not able to resuscitate Mr. Samuels. And they they said at some point he had was still breathing when EMS had showed up. But you never know how much time had passed by before they were able to initiate CPR and give him some medications uh, to try to restart his heart. And it's very unfortunate because there were a lot of people. Um, who both liked and disliked him. He often talked about his detractors, which was always funny to listen to uh, when he would talk about all the people that would, you know, talk nonsense and he would, you know, dispel a lot of the myths uh, about what people stated that he said were things that were false. And a lot of the stuff that he talked about uh, were truths within both the black and Hispanic community. And unfortunately, he will definitely be missed by a lot of people, by those who enjoyed his content by those who did um, talk talking points about his content, those who didn't like his content and would make content talking about how they didn't like his content, how he was wrong, he was controversial, etc. And there are a lot of people who ate because of Kevin Samuels. And that was one of the things I had noticed, you know, when I was watching a lot of the different videos from different content creators yesterday is a lot of them had their AdSense on for talking about the passing away um, of this man. And they were doing, you know, maybe like what would be considered a eulogy 
for him talking about how he had helped a lot of people. But it was funny because all these people had their AdSense on. Everybody, you know, to the, even on the day that this man died, were eating off of his plate. And I think a lot of people should be very thankful for the opportunity that Kevin Samuels presented for a lot of individuals who, whether you hated him or disliked him or whether you liked him, a lot of people were able to eat because of how good at what he did. As you can see, he had 1.4, uh, 1, uh, 1. Excuse me, 1.43 million subscribers, garnered a lot of views, did shows just about every day on both YouTube and as well as uh, Instagram. And a lot of people ate off of his plate. And regardless of how you felt for him, whether you did reaction videos or if you did videos with him or if you did videos, you know, talking about a, a, cer a, a certain talking point or a certain clip that he did or if you took what he did and you took it out of contents, out of context, a lot of people, especially within the manosphere, uh, especially within the black community, were able to eat. They were able to put food on the table because of how good of content that Kevin Samuel was able to create. And a lot of people will miss him at the very least for that. He gave people the opportunity uh, to have their content seen because of who he was, because of the type of person that he was, the type of attention that he was able to garner from not just the black community, but from many different communities as well and that is something that definitely kevin samuels will definitely meet, definitely be missed outside of all the funny takes and the, the delusional women who would come on to his show and he would talk about all these different topics about women and their you know their endless lists of wants and it was just funny a lot of times watching a lot of the content and like where do you find some of these women but he did it patiently often day in and day out and there were a lot of times where you'd watch his content and you'd be like, bro, how do you put up with talking to these women? And yet he did it. He did it because he wanted to try to reach out to the black community to try to do his best to make changes within the community for the better. At the very least, that was his motive. He didn't have I definitely don't think he had ill motives toward the black community. In fact, he had love towards the black community that he often talked about. But. It didn't mean that there weren't things that people didn't have to work on. There weren't things that that are going on within the black community that, of course, they needed to work on. Kevin often talked about this from the standpoint of male-female relationships. And for the hard work that he did, he will definitely be missed. I will definitely miss, you know, on the occasion catching his content. It was definitely uh, good to watch. On occasion, I would take advantage to, to watch some of the stuff that he did. And a lot of times, a lot of his content... You know, sometimes it didn't click with me, but it clicked with other people. Obviously, he was able to garner in a lot of views. But I would just say, as from a nurse, from a nursing perspective, to learn from this opportunity to never take health-related issues lightly. Because the result may be that you lose your life. And someone might not be there to resuscitate you in time. Now, of course, we know that Kevin beat cancer. That was often thing that he talked about when he was much younger. Um, but unfortunately, this was, as they say, his time. But it's a very, definitely a good learning opportunity for many men who often might take health-related issues very lightly, especially when it comes to heart-related issues, which is the number one killer for men. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching, and may Mr. Samuels rest in peace.